。佢真係冇心㗎，點知你啲頭髮滑到咁得㗎？純滑易疏身唔境界。Rejoice。On this episode of Inside China, China just stole the U.S. Navy drone, and the U.S. Navy watch it happen, which is better than uh, than starting a war. Hi, welcome to Inside China. I'm your host, Mrs. Duan, and I am Nick Short. Here's today's um, political news. Now, relations. Prime Minister is calling China a true friend and wants to take their relationship to new heights. In a jab in China last week. He's already signed an agreement to buy four China's naval vessels for about thirty-four billion dollars. It is Malaysia's first big defense deal with China, and actually a lot to spend on the first date. More shocking, Malaysia has pledged with Beijing to handle with South China Sea disputes bilaterally. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Brunei have long. Being in long-time territorial disputes with China over the South China Sea, but now, says Prime Minister Nijia, one should not let former colonial power lecture countries the ones exploited on how to conduct their own internal affairs. More breaking, China even allowed Filipino fishermen to approach some of the island when the Philippines President Duterte said this. You can go to hell. Mr. Obama, you can go to hell. First Philippines, now Malaysia, is looking more like dominance because the Philippines and Malaysia both have decided to negotiate their disputes with China bilaterally. They would weaken everyone else's ability to negotiate as a block with U.S. missile behind them. So the real winner here is China. Now no one can say for sure yet that why Malaysia and Philippines have decided to go like this. But in fact, China is Malaysia's biggest trading partner, the second biggest partner for Philippines. Okay, let's be honest. Even Obama hasn't been capable to accomplish much with South China Sea disputes in the last eight years. But within just four months of taking office, Philippines President Duterte seems to have solved the problem, at least for Filipino fishermen. Beijing. China's army has carried out its first fight,、uh, its first live fire drills using an aircraft carrier. State media said, "Dozens of ships and aircraft took part in the exercise a few days ago in the Bohai Sea to test weapon performance and training levels," according to a statement posted Thursday on the Defense Ministry website. Beijing said last month that. This aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was ready to engage in any combat, marking a milestone for a navy that has invested heavily in its ability to project power far from China's shores. Ni, 师傅，师傅下金身，天下必有大事。走。是谁想出来的？是肯德基把孜然和汉堡放在了一起，醇香孜然粉，大块的鸡腿肉和爽脆蔬菜，全新肯德基孜然烤鸡腿堡，美味新鲜事。何等大事！我能不下山吗？有了肯德基，生活滋味。Here's Nick with the five days forecast. Starting at 5 degrees Celsius today, we'll be coming down to nearly 1 degree Celsius by Sunday, then rising back up to 2 degrees Celsius by Wednesday. This was your 5 to 7 day forecast. Also in health and a bit of weather today. At midnight, December 22nd, the Beijing Municipal Environmental Protection Department lifted its red alert, the country's highest、uh, pollution warning. At the time, the air quality index was still at 466, a hazardous level according to Beijing Air. Which monitors pollution levels and is not associated with the government. The red alert, Beijing's first of the year, went into effect at 4:30 p.m. on December 16th. As of noon local time on December 22nd, the air quality at 72 was considered moderate. But in other words, to Chinese new state-owned organizations, 
However, that would Beijing air quality overall went back to excellent levels. In sports news, along with local news, the IMG, commonly referred to as the International Management Group, on Wednesday announced the happiest 5K on the planet, the Color Run. We'll be returning to China with a brand new theme coming 2017. The fresh elements of magic, dreams, and color will be placed on the track to offer color runners an unprecedented run of dreams. The inaugural event of Dream World Tour in China will take place at the Hangzhou at Sengyu National Tourism Resort on May 6. The Color Run is the largest running series held worldwide. Since its debut in the United States in March 2011, it has generated enthusiastic support and participation from people who value health, happiness, and individuality. The Dream World Tour take runners in a magical world event. Every year, the Color Run adopts a unique theme to create the most unforgettable experience for runners around the world. Following the Tropical World Tour in 2016, the Dream World Tour will set to kick off in 2017, surrounding by color clouds and hot music, color runners and their families and friends will partake in Dreamy 5K race, where everything and anything is possible. Now in music news, we have... Thank you for joining us. This was Inside China with Nick Shore. This is Duan. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Dajian 有剩的好耍的